we are trying to decentralise healthcare data to uh, um, to give back uh, um, data into into an ecosystem which is currently um, it, it's lots lots of problems. So data, as we know, there's lots and lots of data all over the world, um, not just in healthcare in the financial industry. Lots and lots of data, um, and it can't it can't be that it's stuck in silo and it and, and it should be utilised much much better. Um, so what are some examples of that? So when people think of this, obviously we know health data, especially in the States, is just, it's all separated, it's all messy, it's not well taken, it's not well managed, it's not well taken care of. How do you, how do you propose to offer utility uh, that doesn't exist yet that's specific to the blockchain? Uh, it's a very good question. So the, the data is, is what we believe um, uh, very valuable and it should be in the patient's hands uh, as it rightfully, rightfully is owned by the patient. Currently it's unavailable. Uh, um, healthcare's, they have these kind of lock-ins, both, both from natural states and also just because of the way the technology has gone. And they're not incentivized to um, give total access to the patient. But you know, if I, if I had my, if I had data at home, um, I'd be able to utilize it on, on a much more efficient basis. I'd be able to see uh, you know, my condition, be able to look online. Um, I would be limited to one provider. Uh, uh, as such, I could look online, like I said, different, different providers diff offering different services.